Hi, thanks for checking our channel. This is going to be kind of an overview, review, whatever you want to call it, on this particular unit. This is a um, Agra Otter. It's a two jewel. It's a dual powered AC, AC powered or battery powered unit. It's a two jewel um, unit. It says it powers up to three and a half miles or twenty acres of fence. You know, um, these are a Amazon special kind of thing, They're like seventy five bucks. So pretty cheap. Um, now this unit works just fine. The customer sent it to me. He wants me to wants me to check it out just to make sure. He's got this one and a couple other models of other brands, and he wants us to wants us to check it out, make sure it's working fine. And I, you know, I never I when he called me about this one before he sent it off, I was like, Agri Auto, what the hell is this thing? You know, I never heard of the brand, and. Um, it, it's, a, it's a Chinese special kind of thing. But let's take it apart. Let's, let's check it real quick before we take it apart. Uh has a little port here on the side where you, you plug your cords into. So I've got a cord here I'm going to plug into. I'm going to strip this back a little bit more so I can get my leads onto it. Plug it in here. So if you're trying to save money, this will probably be a, a good one to look at. But expect it to last a long time. I don't know about that. And for 75 bucks, what expect for parts? Probably nothing. So let's um, apply power to it. It's a pretty fast pulsing unit. Not very loud. So, let's put our, get our tester here. The guy said he just wants me to check it and make sure it's putting out right. So, we'll go ground to ground, hot to hot, my fault finder here. We're getting 11,000 volts out of the thing. All right, let's see what kind of spark this thing will throw. 11,000 volts on the two joule unit's yeah, pretty. Oops. Take the screwdriver and we'll just chart across it. We'll just go to fence and get close to the ground. Maybe. Uh, it does have a little light that flashes on the thing. I didn't see it before. What's it doing, that one? Which model is that? Is that three or two or a one? It's like, it looks like a three. It's got, the big, it's got three capacitors on there. Or EK5. Should be on the front case. Here's the board. Oh. All right, so let's um, open this up. Turn the light back on so I can see better. Turn the power off. Put these knobs on before I forget it. Seems like pretty good knobs. I mean, they're uh, got a brass insert. I don't know what kind of bolts they are. Stainless, I guess. I don't know. Let's um, tear, pull it apart to see the insides. Yeah, if you got one of these things, don't expect to be getting it fixed, I would imagine. So I doubt you can get parts for it. Unless parts are 20 bucks, then maybe it might be worth it. That's it. 
Not much to it, just one circuit board inside there. It's using the big red capacitor, which a lot of brands use on, on, on the big film capacitors. Um, yeah, they're using the same kind of capacitor that most brands, not all brands, but most brands use. There's a little inverter step-up transform to build the power up from 12 volt up to a higher voltage. Here's your, here's your multiplier circuit building things up. And then there's a transformer. But yeah, getting parts for this is probably going to be, oh yeah, they wore the, tra <laughs> they wore the numbers of the transformer so you couldn't go online and try to find the transformer. It's nice of them. Trying to be sneaky about it, looks like. But not, I mean, not a complicated unit. I mean, maybe this board could be fixed. And I mean, the only thing we would have trouble finding would be the uh, little transformers. Capacitors are easily attainable. So, but for 75 bucks, what do you expect? How long do you expect this thing to last? I imagine the lightning gets a hold of it. I don't know what the warranty is. Probably one year or two year warranty at most, I would guess, on this little thing. But it does have a faster pulse than normal, so compared to some other ones, so that's pretty. Some people like the fast pulse, some people wish they were a little slower. It's not a constant current one either way. Well, that's it for this little video. We're gonna shut it down and move on to another one. There's, there's information right there fencerfixer.com. What we do. But you're welcome to send things to us for us to look at for repair. We work in all brands, ages of these things. Now, we could probably take a look at it, but, you know, I don't know what you're going to expect out of repair when you when a brand new one's 75 bucks. We're talking about the freight. You know, it's probably going to cost like, I'll say, 15 bucks to melt this back and melt down here. 15 bucks going back. Well, it's 30. You put like, say, 10, 20 dollars labor on it. Well, there's 50, 60, 70. You know, so, yeah, I don't know. Probably wouldn't be worth it. But anyways, um, until next time, see you guys later on. If you have any other questions, welcome to get a hold of us. Till next time, bye-bye.